Number 1. Dividend and Growth Stocks Being in your 20s and 30s provides an opportunity to place risky bets because you still have time to recover if you lose your money. So investing in stocks is an excellent way to put some of your money into a high risk, high reward venture. Growth stocks are simply those that are expected to grow at significantly faster rates than the industry average. These stocks generate more long-term positive cash flows and revenues than their peers. Dividend stocks on the other hand are typically stocks of companies that are financially stable and mature, which means their share price are less volatile than growth stocks. Dividend stocks should be included in your portfolio from an early age. They provide opportunities to earn a consistent income over a long period of time, provided the companies continue to perform well. Number 2. Real Estate Investment Trust In 1960, the United States Congress established Real Estate Investment Trusts, or REITs, to allow people to invest in income-producing real estate. REITs are like the mutual funds of real estate. They are a collection of properties managed by a company, also known as a trust, that buys and develops real estate with funds provided by investors. They are an excellent option if you want to get started in real estate investing but don't want to commit to purchasing or financing property. REITs, like dividend stocks, pay out yearly or quarterly dividends. RITs also invest in a wide range of industries, both domestic and international. You can invest in RITs, they create apartments, office properties and even healthcare facilities. Overall, they are a simple way to get involved in real estate without having to bear the upfront cost of purchasing property. To begin, go to your online broker and purchase a RIT as you would any other investment. I recommend Vanguard Real Estate Investment Trust ETF. Vanguard's ETF fund tracks the RIT index from MCI Incorporate, a well-known investment research firm. Number 3. Farmland Aside from real estate, farmland is another great income producing asset that has historically been a major source of wealth. One of the best reasons to invest in farmland today is the low correlation with stocks and bonds, as farm income is uncorrelated with what is going on in financial markets. Furthermore, farmland has lower volatility than stocks while also protecting against inflation. Farmland, unlike individual stocks and bonds, is unlikely to go to zero due to its asymmetric risk profile. But of course, future climate change effects may change this. Now you may ask, what kind of returns can farmland provide? According to Capital Allocators podcast, farmland is expected to return in the high single digits, with farm yields accounting for roughly half of the return and land appreciation accounting for the other half. How do you go about investing in farmland? While purchasing individual farmland is a significant investment, the most common way for investors to own farmland is through a publicly traded RIT or a crowdsourced solution such as Farm Together or Farm Funder. The crowdsourced solution can be advantageous because you have greater control over which farmland properties you invest in. Number 4. Permanent Life Insurance Most people assume they can't access their life insurance unless something happens to them, but that isn't always true. The premiums you pay on a permanent life insurance policy, such as a whole life, universal life or variable life policy will grow tax deferred. When the policy reaches a certain cash value, you can withdraw funds tax-free. The accumulated cash, less any fees, is an asset that can help you increase your net worth.
Consider working with an independent life insurance broker if you want to get permanent life insurance. Number 5. Education. According to statistics, your 20s are the best age to study. So according to research, your 20s and early 30s are the best age to learn new things. As a result, now may be the best time to earn that extra degree. Education is important because it can help you succeed in your career. However, you must recognize that not all education or learning is an asset. Just be careful, because some learning can be classified as a hobby and thus cannot be monetized. If you want to invest in education, begin by looking for careers that you are familiar with and that can lead to success. This could also be an excellent opportunity to improve your financial literacy. Number 6. Treasury Bills Treasury Bills are necessary investments for every investor at whatever age. There is no better time to buy Treasury Bills regularly than when you are young. Treasury Bills are short-term government guaranteed debt instruments issued to finance expenditure and control the money supply. Treasury bills have three tenors, 90 days, 182 days and 364 days. Everyone has bills to pay, whether it's tuition, rent or even professional exams. You can easily invest the money you have at hand into treasury bills and cash out when the bills are due. This lies under the finance concept of asset and liability matching which involves the purchasing of an asset to finance the payment of a future liability. Treasury bills are entirely risk-free, so your returns are guaranteed, unlike other investment options. And also the returns are pretty decent, so why not investing in them? And the last one, number 7, peer-to-peer -peer lending. Peer-to-peer -peer lending is a relatively new source of income. You and other lenders act as a bank to someone looking to borrow money through peer-to-peer -peer lending. The borrower repays the principal plus interest, much like a bank loan. You may be wondering why someone would not simply borrow from a bank. This is due to a variety of factors. However, the borrower may have a low credit score in many cases. Borrowing from banks may thus be extremely expensive. It is important to note that as a result, peer-to-peer -peer lending can be extremely risky. If you enjoy high risk, this could be a great option. However, if you prefer more security, you should look into other options first. Popular peer-to-peer -peer lending sites are Sophie and Landing Club. Bye-bye.